Are you the type of person who has one or two passwords that you use for almost everything? I know I was. In the modern world, we have a copious amounts of online services that all require security from your online banking to your Instagram account. With so many services, how are we expected to remember literally hundreds of different passwords? That's what we're here to discuss today, so stick around. Hey everyone, this is Ryan Corcoran the Broadcast Buddy TV, the all-around go-to channel for all things broadcast television. And on this channel, it's our goal to equip you with the tips, tricks, and know-hows to help make you a better broadcaster. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And with that being said, let's get to it. All right, let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. We don't always want to have to try and remember hundreds of different passwords. But we also really need to discuss the dangers of using the same couple of passwords for all of our accounts. Obviously, if that one password is compromised, then all of your accounts could be in danger. You'll especially be out of luck if that compromised password is also the one that you use for your primary email account. Think about it. When you, yourself, forgets your own password, the first thing you do is reset it, which sends a reset confirmation link to your email. If a hacker gets your primary email, they will have free range to hijack all of your other accounts by resetting and changing all of your passwords, locking you out. So wait a second, how does a hacker get your password to begin with? Well, there are several methods actually. The first one, and maybe one of the most overlooked in my opinion, is database breaches. Hackers are constantly attacking major and minor services that exist out there. If they are successful, your personal data could be exposed. These details could include anything that you added to your services like your name, address, credit card, email, and your password. That database is then posted to websites on the dark web for anyone to see. Hackers use this information in automated scams. Some even will send you an email with your password in the subject line. They use fear tactics, saying things like, they have compromising material on you, and if you don't pay up, they'll blast all of your email contacts with it. So, how do you know if a service that you use has been a victim of a database breach? One useful tool that I've used is a website called haveibeenpwned.com, link in the description below. Through this website, you can enter your email address and it will tell you if it is found in a database in the dark web. The second way a hacker can acquire your password is a Wi-Fi monitoring attack. Essentially, anytime you connect to a public Wi-Fi or open Wi-Fi connection, your personal information can be at risk. Let me explain. A simple software application can be used by a hacker to monitor all web traffic on a Wi-Fi network. Upon entering your login credentials, the hacker is notified and your login credentials are stolen. It's that easy. Now, bear in mind that this can be avoided by using a VPN or a virtual private network on your computer or mobile device. A VPN acts like a cloak of protection which hides your internet traffic from prying eyes. It gets a little bit more complicated than that, but VPNs deserve a video on their own. The next two ways a hacker can get your password are very similar and both are indicative of that sketchy spam email you receive in your inbox. These are phishing scams. The first type, referred to as tab nabbing, which involves clicking on links that essentially redirect you to which appears to be a legitimate website asking you to log in and confirm maybe an order or credit card purchase. This fake login page then harvests your username and password and redirects you to an actual website. The second type is referred to as keyloggers. Keyloggers are little software applications that can be placed on your computer by web browser or accidentally downloading the attachments on those sketchy emails. Once it starts running, it starts logging every key press you make on your keyboard and sends this information back to the hacker. Using this info, they can quickly ascertain your login details and steal your password. It should also be noted that the key loggers can already be installed on public computers, so only use computers you trust to log into your secure applications. The best way to avoid becoming a victim of phishing scams is to use common sense. Did you get an email from your bank that is asking you to verify a transaction with a link in your email ready for you to click on? Check the sender's email address. Look closely at the wording and grammar of the email. Usually they are written in a vague way which tries to bait you into clicking the link or downloading the attachment. And if you're ever still in doubt, call your service directly and always keep your antivirus up to date and run frequent virus scans. The final way a hacker can get your password is the old school brute force attack. 
This is where a hacker uses software to essentially guess your password by running through hundreds of thousands of different combinations. Sometimes passwords can be cracked in under 24 hours via this method. I mean, think about it. If you're using a password that's only one English word, all lowercase and no numbers or special characters, then there are only around 171,000 possibilities it can be because that's how many words are in the English dictionary, which makes it a lot easier to be cracked by a hacker in a matter of minutes. With this being said, there are ways that you can prevent a hacker from getting your password, but no way is bulletproof. That's why it's still important to make sure every online account and service you use has its own unique strong passwords, which brings us to the MVP of online security, the password manager. Password managers allow you to create, store strong passwords for all of your services, and the best part is you don't have to remember them. Think of a password manager like a little man you keep locked up in a vault. This vault is secured by only one single challenging password that you need to remember. Once you open the vault, you can request the password for the service you're currently trying to access. The little man on the inside checks his list of passwords and supplies it for you. Yes, it really is one password to rule them all. Now, there are quite a few different choices when it comes to password managers you could go with, all of which have their own pros and cons. Some popular ones I've seen around are Bitwarden, Dashlane, 1Password, and LastPass. And don't worry, I'll include links to all of these in the description below. Some are free to an extent, and others require subscriptions. I'm not going to go over all of the differences right now, but let me know in the comments if you think I should do a video in the future for it. My personal password manager of choice is Bitwarden, and it is what you'll see me using here. So how does it work and what are the benefits? Well, most password managers today can be installed directly on your web browser as an extension. That way, as you're browsing the web and come across a pesky login page, you can just go to your password manager, automatically drop in your login credentials. Most even have separate desktop software and smartphone apps to allow more flexibility when needed. Most password managers today also have the ability to randomly generate challenging passwords for you to use when signing up for accounts or when refreshing passwords on old ones. Some even will allow you to check passwords generated to see if they've been involved in database breaches. On that note, some password managers will even notify you if new surfaces of one of the services you use does become victim of a database breach and then advises you right away to make a new password. Other benefits include the ability to securely store your credit card information. That way, you have the ability to quickly and securely check out when doing all your online shopping. All right, so let's talk about the fault in the whole scenario. You are essentially taking one password and locking all of your important data behind it. Doesn't that mean if a hacker gets that one password, they have access to everything? Well, the short answer is yes. By using a password manager, you are putting a lot of faith into one major point of failure. That's why it's still important to have smart practices while having an online presence. However, there is still one more thing you can do to make your password manager near bulletproof. And seriously, if you don't do this, I would never recommend getting a password manager at all. It's that important. It's called two-factor authentication, and the principle behind it is this. Logging into your account requires two unique forms of identification. Your password and a secret code that you pull from your authenticator. Two-factor authentication can be set up in many different ways. You can go the route of SMS verification, where the service sends you a secret code directly to your phone via text message. You can do a app-generated code like Google Authenticator, where you essentially pair the password manager to the Authenticator app and it constantly generates new codes called tokens you use in your login. There are even physical Authenticator USB devices that you need to physically have in your possession in order to verify your identity. Frankly, it doesn't really matter what method you go with as long as you have some sort of two-factor authentication present. And really, this goes for all online services as well. You should try to use two-factor authentication wherever you can. The bottom line is, it acts as a secondary means of keeping your login safe. So even if that hacker gets your password, they would still need to also have your authenticator. So check to see if the online service you're using supports them and also what methods it supports. Well, that's about it, guys. Online security can be a daunting and tedious task, but well worth it in the end. With all of these amazingly useful tools available, there's really no reason to slack in keeping your personal online accounts and data safe from hackers with malicious intent. Thank you all for watching, and we'll be back here next time on Broadcast Buddy TV.